to Hello everybody, welcome to my first Overwatch guide video. Today I'm going to be making a guide on the hero Ash. But before I get into it, I would like to introduce myself since this is my first video. I am a Grandmaster Overwatch player. I currently hold GM on two accounts and I've got about a thousand hours in the game. So I've been playing Ash a little bit since she's come out and I've practiced her abilities and seen what she can do and she recently came out in competitive. So I thought this would be the perfect time to make a quick guide on how to play her for you guys. So let's start it off with Ash's two shots and a lot of you guys may know this, but her first shot does about 150 damage. This does vary on range, but it does 150 damage and this is her scope shot and 150 damage headshot that is, not, not body shot. So with the shot, it is the only shot in the game, or the only gun in the game, that has true recoil. So as you see, the crosshair is bumping up and down a little bit, and this makes it a little weird for Ash to shoot. She, some people really struggle with this because it's a little strange, but one tip I have is just to take your time where you're shooting, or where you're shooting in scope with her, and uh, if you let the recoil fully stop and the scope to fully be still by the next time you shoot, uh, you should be able to still hit shots like you normally do. Ash's second, secondary fire, which is non-scoped, and I don't really know if it's secondary, maybe, maybe you would call it primary, but uh, this is non-scoped, and it shoots a lot faster, but that being says, it said, it does do less damage, so it does a fair amount headshot, it's a three-tap headshot, but uh, it does a relatively low amount of damage, body shot. So you can actually use these abilities together, and if you headshot, you'll notice they're very low, and because this shot is so fast and easy to hit, you can easily spam down the person with a body shot and that will kill them. Another thing to keep in mind though, is there is a delay when you switch from your scope shot to your normal shot. And I'll show that right here. I'm gonna shoot once and then continue spamming left click to shoot again. And you'll notice how there's a delay. So I'll do that right there. As you see, there's a pretty big delay. So that's enough for an uh, enemy to get away or for them to heal. So what you can actually do is cancel this delay um, with her shift ability. So if you headshot, you can easily shift and it'll immediately cancel the delay and allow you to shoot again. And that's pretty helpful. So another thing you can do is this shotgun ability, and this is going into Ash's first ability, her shotgun ability. And it does about 100 damage. And this means every single shot hits. But what you can do is if you get them low enough with a headshot, you can hit them with a shotgun and it will kill them. Now I wouldn't actually recommend doing this because you'll notice how fast this damage decreases at range. You'll see right when I come around right here, it does just about zero damage. So it's really not that effective and I just recommend using her non-scoped fire to kill anyone you already headshot. So continuing on this ability, it's Ash's only mobility ability. And wherever you shoot it, it will push you back in the direction you shoot. It, this can be used at all angles. And something really, really cool about it is it can actually push you out of falling off the map or something. So if you guys think of Iliois well, this is boop central practically. But if you get booped, ashes are here, they can actually come flailing back up out of the wall. So this is really, really cool. Um, it adds a lot of mobility to Ash, and it also allows her to take just about any high ground in the game, which is really helpful. But while using this ability, you do have to keep in mind that you only get it every 10 seconds. So this means once you use it, you are vulnerable for 10 seconds. So when you do use it, you have to think about good positioning. You have to use it wisely so that you're not dived in that 10 seconds and don't die. Finally, this is a boop ability. I wouldn't recommend flanking or doing any crazy stuff like Lucio would do with boop because like I just said, once you use it, you, you don't have any way to get out. You don't have any mobility, but it is a fairly powerful boop. So unlike Lucio, where you have to get super close or Pharaoh, where it has to be pretty close, you can actually do this from very far away. You know, still do a lot of, a lot of boop. It'll go really far. And so this is super helpful for Winston dives you or for Winston dives your supports. You can actually just send him into oblivion. He just goes flying away and uh, it's really effective. So moving on to Ash's second ability and this is her dynamite. So when throwing the dynamite for the first time, you'll notice it doesn't have like a normal trajectory. It's not easy to calculate. And this is because it actually kind of goes straight for a while. And this is because what you can actually do is when you throw it, you can actually explode it in midair. And what this does is it makes it so it's a lot harder to avoid when you throw it normally, and I'll show you this in a second. It slowly winds down, and so it's very easy to avoid this way. But if you actually shoot it in midair, there's no deflecting it, you can shoot it over shields, and it's very difficult to avoid. 
So, uh, as you guys probably just saw, it, it can do damage to yourself. You can die from this ability. It doesn't do nearly as much as it would to an enemy. And it, I didn't mention this, but it does about 170 damage to an enemy. So that's a lot of damage. And so it, it's a very effective ability. Probably one of her best abilities, but you do have to practice shooting this mine a bit. Because uh, if you're not able to do that, that'll greatly lower your abilities and how strong you are on Ash. So this is practically the final part of Ash, and that's her ultimate ability. And her ultimate ability is Bob. So Bob is practically a new member of your team. As you guys can see, Bob is a, is a really cool guy over here. And he's, like I said, just like another player on your team. So you can do all the things you would do to an enemy player to Bob. This means you can bubble him, you can hack him, you can sleep him, uh, you can even nano Bob. So many things you can do, but Bob is also very easily countered. So you have to watch out what position he, you put him in. So Bob just charges in. I actually have to feed him back here to show you guys this. Um, but Bob charges in and lots of the time you'll put him right in the middle of the enemy team. Like I just said, he can be slept and hacked, so if they have a Sombra, there's really nothing you can do. But if they have a Ana, you should watch for that sleep, and once they use it, that would be the ideal time to put in Bob. Because the sleep duration is also equal to Bob's duration in the game. He actually goes away after a while. So if he gets slept and no one wakes him up, he's just going to disappear right after that. So he, he's super counterable, you do have to watch out for that. But that being said, even though he's counterable, there's, there's one way you can almost guarantee a kill or get a nice entry frag in a game and if you send Bob in actually he will do damage with his charge so as you can see it does like 140 damage and he also boops the player in the air so once he boops that player in the air you can actually easily shoot them just body shot and you will kill them so that's an easy way to get an opening pick with Bob so Bob has 1200 HP also lots of HP but he does stand still so pretty easy to shoot him down um, after a while if you have good team coordination and really focus him but overall I think he's a fairly balanced hero and um, nothing really OP about him you just gotta put him in the right position and he can do some serious work so other than that that's really all Ash can do here I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you learned something new please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel this will be my first of hopefully many overwatch guide videos so look forward to that and uh, that's all i really have for you guys today so remember to subscribe like comment on what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next one